What's up YouTube, Dal here from Zephyr War Games and today I actually have a product review for you. So I've got a product review of the brand new Game Layer 600 Plus Convertible Game Genic uh, Storage Unit. So basically this is a small-ish, um, and I'll go through all of the details, a storage unit that you can get for your cards. Now, as you can see from the side image here, it can hold dice, it can hold separators for your decks, it's got token areas, it's got dice areas, it's got pen areas, it's got everything you could possibly need. So, these retail for around about 60 to 70 pounds. It's something that I thought would be pretty cool because a lot of people have asked me, like, how do I store my cards? Now, I store my cards in loads of different ways, and this was something that I hadn't had before, but I thought it would be cool to kind of get and then review for you. As you can see from the detail on the background as well, it can hold up to 600 double sleeved cards or 800 board game sleeved cards. Um, it's got an extra large top compatible which can be taken off to be a dice tray. Uh, it's got two re uh, removable X, um, XXL drawers. It's all magnetic to keep it all together and then it's got easy access to deck boxes here as well. So it looks like it's got storage units from top to bottom for cards there so you can separate your decks or everything you need. And then you've got some side cards, token cards, anything you want on top of that. So, with all of that out of the way, please smash that like button, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. If you do like these type of product reviews, then let me know. Um, obviously, I'm always on the lookout for something that's a bit more unique, something a little bit different. Uh, and it's always nice to kind of bring you guys the information you need when you're looking for stuff like this, whether you want to store, whether you want to use binders, anything like that. So, we're going to open up the cardboard, and we're going to take out the layer inside. It's got a bit of excess, like it's got this strip around it, which I don't think is really needed. Um, it just seems like an extra layer of faff. But we can now get into the box. So straight away, the material on the outside is, um, ooh, it's kind of velvety, which is really nice. Um, it sounds very, very sturdy. And it is, I wouldn't say heavy, heavy, but it's definitely got weight to it. So it's not something I would probably put in my bag to transport around with, but it's definitely something if I was going to a friend's house or if I was going to um, like a casual meetup and I wanted to test like three or four or five different decks and I wanted to bring everything with me, then I can do. Uh, so the top is completely removable. So there you go, completely removable. This is how it can be merged into a dice tray. So you can obviously see all of the magnetic components. This is a bit, I mean, I'm not 100% set on this because you might lose it. Um, but it is still kind of a cool idea. We've got a thank you card in here, and then obviously some cleaning gels. So we'll move them out of the way. Now straight away, there seems like there's a lot of space in here. So this one's got two different slits, so you can see that I can move, hopefully move this across. There you go. So you've got this piece of separation plastic. Oh, that's a little bit. Ugh, there we go. So I can move this across to change the, the size of what you need. That's probably obviously doing like a 80-20 split. And this, I would assume, is a 50-50 split, which is probably something I'm going to keep um, keep to it. You've then got all these trays on top now. It's obviously got these little icons. I'll try and see if I can show you on the camera. There you go. So you've got like, a dice icon that kind of symbolizes where everything goes. You've got like deck icon there or card icons. Um, so, yeah. I think all of these. Yeah, all of these are magnetic. So you can just... They're very... Like, they need a little bit, but not too much. So... Oh, that's weird. Oh, I don't like that. Um, but yeah, so you've got like a dice tray. Um, or even, I suppose I can fit cards. I've got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards next to me. So if you wanted to, that could easily fit like side cards. It could possibly fit a 40 card deck to be fair. So like if you're undecided or you've got a side deck or anything like that, you can put those in there. So you get two drawers like that on that side. I'm not a fan of having the magnetic side outwards. Because um, as you saw, as I tried to take it off, I was kind of like, whoa, what's going on? Um, deceptively, this top tray does not come off. This bit doesn't move either. So I'm just trying to obviously be as gentle as I possibly can. There you go, so you've got the dice icon again. So this thing pops down, and we've got longer drawers. Okay, so we've got the longer drawers. I'm assuming this is designed for all the dice. Um, I do actually have a lot of dice I like collecting, especially the ones that we get in like the legendary door list and stuff like that. Okay, so obviously you've got your dice tray, you've got card tray over this side as well, and again, signified by that little silver icon right at the top. Now, um, I'm just going to keep referring back to the box so that I don't miss, <clears throat> so that I don't miss any kind of special features. But the way they see it is they see that this is to be held for like pens and notebooks and everything you need. Dice is in this side, um, side deck cards are in that side, 
and then you can separate here. Now, it's a little bit, if I try and move this out of the way, you can see from the image, let me try and flat pack this. I'm a little bit disappointed because I thought it was going to come with these dividers that it seems to, to, to demonstrate. Let me try and, I mean, I know they're not hard to go and buy if you wanted to, but I was kind of like, oh cool, I can even get dividers in here as well. There we go. So you can kind of see on this one they've got like these little tab dividers and on this one they've got these little tab dividers as well. So it's like, oh that would be really, really cool. Um, but it, it seems like you don't get them with the with the box, which again is not the end of the world, but it would have been something cool as a nice little addition to add, especially when they this is sitting on the top end of um, retail of about like 60, 70 pounds like I said. So obviously trying to put the Yu-Gi-Oh decks in here. You'd ideally, I feel that they could have used other layers of separation, so like maybe more plastic, but then I suppose that then comes down to how many cards you're going to want to put in here. Um, so I've got a lot that I can put in here at right now. So you've got like a Necros deck, um, we've got a Synchron deck, some of these are all single sleeved, I've got some double sleeve cards, um, but straight away that's like nearly three decks worth and an extra deck. Let's carry on to see how much more we can get in here. So I've now got a DDD deck and a branded deck. So we'll put those in there as well. That's kind of cool. I suppose like if you color code your decks as well, um, the, the separation isn't that big of a like that big of an issue. To be fair, these are obviously all single sleeved. If I was to double sleeve, well, you can see that my my extra deck cards are double sleeved, so they fit in quite nicely. Um, here's, here's a stack of double sleeve cards actually. So these are like extra deck cards. They seem to fit in without an issue as well. So that's obviously all you go size and you can see that there's, there's definitely some space to the left and right for uh, bigger cards. So I've actually got standard side cards here and yeah they fit in nicely without an issue as well. So I reckon you could easily fit, <coughs> I mean it says that 400. Um, or 600 plus, 600 to 800, straight away we're looking at like 40, 60, let's say 60, 120, um, 160, 220, and then I would say 220, <clears throat> plus another 60 or 55, and another 55, 110, so that's like 320 on one side, and there's still, like, if I move those and crush them up a little bit, there's still space to put a lot more in there. So that's really kind of cool. This is definitely something that I would put decks in that I'm testing or decks in that I'm still working on. Um, and then it means that I know exactly where they are. You'd want to keep a bit of space that you can easily access them and, and pull them out as their cores without um, damaging the cards as well. Then, uh, of course, if we move back around just so that I can go with the trays again. I'm, I might put them back in like this. Like, I mean, you can still take them out. But at least the, the magnet doesn't like flop <laughs> a little bit is the best way to put that. So then let's see what we can get in here. So I've got some single in this stack of cards. There's some singles and there's some double sleeves. So I mean I'm not a fan of letting it just fall in like that. So I suppose that's where the magnet does come into play. There you go. I'd say that's nearly at capacity. Um, but that's again that's really kind of cool. So that is, just have a quick look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So that's an exact 40 card. So you could like put a deck in here that shares an extra deck with something else and it will still take up the right space you need. So that is it. <clears throat> um, let's see how sturdy the top is. I mean, I suppose the top, it doesn't matter which way around it goes because you see that they've got the um, the magnetic spaces. I suppose it's just making sure that it's secure. I mean, you can hear the cards move around in there because the one side isn't completely set. But yeah, it's sturdy. It's got some strength to it. The top's a little bit weird, but that's purely because it's designed to be a dice tray. So, I mean, the idea behind this is it can be used as uh, a D&D &D night. If you want to, um, it can also be used as, let me just try and pinch that together properly, is that how it works? So it can be used as a D&D &D night, but it can also be used as a <clears throat> dice tray for something else you might want to use. And um, any other kind of card games that you play as well. So if you wanted to, you could use it for magic, you could use it for Pokemon. 
I mean, the corners don't seem to. <clears throat> so I mean, that's the that's the dice tray put together. The corners aren't the strongest. Like, it's not the strongest magnetized. I don't even think there are magnets in the corners. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to be using it as a dice tray. This is mainly going to be for like a a deck storage box as well. And kind of go from there. Anyway, I hope you like this review. I hope it's kind of given you a, an insight into something like this. I do feel that price-wise it's on the higher end of stuff. If I'm going to use it to just store stuff in, um, you can get Ultimate Guard long ones that you just put um, your decks in, in their deck boxes. If you want to minimise <clears throat> your luggage or your carriage or anything like that, and you want to put a lot of cards in, uh, you can do it like this instead as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Till next time guys, as absolutely always, stay safe. And of course, happy dueling.